All right, so the first step in making a half pipe is to, uh, I try to speed up the process, so I cut some supports in half. I made the slits into the corners where the creases are so I can set it up. I'm going to set this up at four corners of the, of the paper. All right, so now I have the supports taped to the base. I tried to do it so that I had a flat side and a flat side of the base facing each other. Flat side here, flat side here facing each other. When I taped the supports down, I made sure that the tape was in close to that upright. Now they can't lift up. Uh, the next thing I would suggest is you want to you want to build your half pipe close to the base. And the reason for that is because the higher you go, the more it's going to wobble. The closer you are to the base, the more secure you can make it. And the supports that are going to connect these four are also very important. So I'll put more supports that go from here to here, or I might put them on the inside like this, from here to here, and here to here. I'll also have supports going this way. Okay, so the, um, the frame for the half pipe is complete. Uh, you can see that I've got supports going this way and going this way. And now if I put my paper, which will become the half pipe, on here, and I dip it down in the middle. I probably tape it maybe here. It depends on which side it wants to roll off of. Looks like it wants to roll the other way. So spin it around. But if you have one side that's a little bit lower than the other, even if we dropped it from this edge over here, it'll roll back and forth and back and forth. Eventually, it'll find its way off on this end. And then you could put a, a track under here, almost like a gutter. So no matter where it falls off, it'll catch it. You could also put up some walls over here so that it has to, it has to and then cut a hole in the wall so that it has to fall through right in that one spot. It might bounce off the wall and go back, which would be good too. So uh, there's a lot, there's no wrong way to do it. There's no right way to do it. It's just fun to try all different ways to do it. So uh, the half pipe is done. I've got this side is just slightly lower than this side. So if I drop it over here, it rolls back and forth. That went a little fast for me. Depending on the angle that it comes from, even that was a little fast. I might have to either raise this side up or what I'll try to do is I'll put up a fence over on this side and then you can see what that looks like. To make a wall, all I do is fold it over lengthwise, put a good crease in it, and then if you cut right up to that crease, you can see how it starts to bend. What, what we can do is add, add this over here, and because of those cuts, now we can have it bend to form the shape of the half pipe, and then we just cut one of these out. Or, or roll it down like this, the one that's in the middle, and the marble will end up rolling off of that, that spot right there. So now that I have the guardrail up on the other side, you can see the, the little slit in the middle. It works pretty well. I found out that if, if I were to turn this whole thing around, the table is crooked, and so that makes a difference. Um, but there it goes. That little guardrail helped to keep the marble from going straight off, actually can bounce it back and then we'll continue to roll back and forth and then as long as you have this little slit at the lowest point, it should roll off and then you can put another track down there to catch the marble.